Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Throne Room Tuesday, where I basically put something in the throne room soliciting my viewers' um, prayers. So, okay, so on this Throne Room Tuesday, I'd like to welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you haven't already become a part of this YouTube family, please do so. It's absolutely free. And while you at it, why don't you take a moment to um, give me some thumbs up, to comment, to like, subscribe, and encourage subscription as you as you share. Um, so, okay, so I had a couple situations recently where somebody else was like really, really critical of Christianity. I think I had told y'all that earlier. And so basically it was really like they were really criticizing um Christianity, and, and they are of another religious persuasion. And so it just kind of reminded me that we have one great responsibility to one another, and that is to love, right, wrong, or indifferent. And as a matter of fact, you know, they were talking about that, um, we as followers of Christ, we don't pray the way Jesus prayed. And in my mind, I'm saying Jesus died while we were yet in sin. I don't think he cares about how um, how we pray, just so long as we do. And at the time of ignorance, he winks at our ignorance. Jesus is not so hardcore that he's nitpicking every little thing that we do. And so I'm soliciting prayers because I just want to love the way God says love and instead of like uh, like the person calling they were critical and I had a situation recently too that I was kind of critical too but then when I thought about it I was like when you criticize another person you don't take in consideration what they may be going through okay and basically it's like whose business is it you know so I'm saying, you know, God has commissioned us to love one another. So when we see something, I think it's more important that we would pray for the other person, like, and be encouraging and, you know, um, uplifting and, and that kind of thing. And possibly doing something to help out instead of like, like criticizing. Um, it's God's responsibility to set us right, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that we're doing the right thing. But we can help out by praying for another person and keeping them before the throne of God rather than to, to criticize. It's like the Bible talks about those that are stronger in the faith to bear the infirmities of those that are, are weaker. And so when we do that, we will be expressing a greater love for the person rather than criticizing you know, maybe some weakness, you know, um, maybe a lack of information that they may have, a lack, of, lack of direction, you know, or even some misinformation. But whatever the case is, it is not our responsibility to criticize one another. But it is our responsibility to show love. And I don't believe that there is any criticizing and love you know i mean jesus was straight to the point when we did something that was wrong you know jesus just let us know basically that it was wrong but he didn't sit up and like you know criticize us and make us feel bad about ourselves or anything like that especially when we may be trying our best you know um, sometimes where we're adjusting to a situation you know or sometimes when it's a new situation and we don't have you know the expertise for it and we're learning uh, we may not do so well in a situation, but however, um, it's not a time for somebody else that may know better to criticize them, you know. So let us love, you know, the way God has loved us. And, and you know, there's like three ways that we can love, okay. Um, but the newest way is to love as Christ loved us. That's like, that's the deepest. You get, it gets really deep when we love the way Christ is loved. You know, the other love where it talks about 
uh, love, loving our neighbor as we love ourselves. We may not love ourselves. And then the other one talks about like doing for others, which is a type of love, doing for others what we would like to be done for us, okay? We might be a kind of like misconstrued or whatever in our thinking, and we might not desire the right kind of love. But I think that it hit home real, real deep where it talks about loving as God loved. It's what I want to do. I want to pray for my brothers and sisters. I want to encourage my brothers and sisters. In the Bible, it even talks about like not saying anything bad about another person, okay? Um, to leave off like evil speaking and, and that kind of thing. And so I want to be in line with what God says. And so basically what I criticized, I felt guilty afterwards, okay? And I'm saying, I don't want to feel that. I want to feel the good feeling that comes with like doing the right thing to another person, you know? Uh, what I would like for them to do for me and, you know, to do for them what God has done for me. God looked past my fault. He looked past my fault and he saw my need. He zeroed in my need and he had compassion enough to pray for me and to really, really help me and not to criticize me. That is the God that I serve. And I'm so happy that we have examples. I'm so happy that when we wrong, we can go to God and confess our sins, you know, and, and not do it no more and get back on the right path. You know, like I said, we don't have a God that's trying to catch us doing the wrong thing. We have a God that, you know, wants to see us doing the right thing, you know. And as a matter of fact, the Bible says that, you know, he wills in us to do um, of his good pleasure, you know, to will to do, in other words, to want to do, you know, and to will to do of his good pleasure. So therefore, it's like he helps us out. You know, he don't just pray for us. You know what I'm saying? Like we can sometimes, you know, become so detached when we come talk about, you know, well, I'm going to pray for you. Pray for the person just now told you that they needed a couple dollars. You know what I'm saying? That they hadn't eaten. You know, they need water or whatever the case is. You know, love would mean that if we had it in it in us that we could do those things that we should. You know, so pray for me that, you know, as a Christian that, you know, that I would do my part to show love and compassion. The same kind of love and compassion that God showed for me. You know, taking in consideration the respect for the other person, you know, because, you know, a person may not want to, you to do or me to do all that I may have in my heart to do. They may not want it, you know, so it's like we can't overstep our bounds with people either, you know. So, so basically, <clears throat> that's all that I have for you. So basically, pray for me that, that I will not be critical, you know, that I will grow in an era to not say anything evil about my brothers and sisters, you know, and to um, to be pleasing to God, you know, to love and to be encouraging, even when, you know, whether the person's around or not, that doesn't matter, you know, whether they are around or not, um, to still, to, you know, to speak, to speak fondly of another person, you know, and so basically, you know, with us, it's like the Bible talks about, you know, when we confess our sin, he, Jesus throws them in the depths of the sea and remember it no more. Now, we may be remembering things that people have done for us, and which could be in a good thing because we can remind ourselves not to do that to another person because we know how it feels. But the fact that he looked past my sins, you know, when I confess my sins, he didn't remember it. It's not, he's not constantly throwing it in, in my face. It gives me a chance you know, to, to get it right, you know, knowing that, you know, I have a God that just simply loves me, you know, and wants me to do the right thing. Pray for me, and I'm praying for you. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. I love you. 
Remember to check out those vegan uh, meat alternatives, sides, and non-dairy desserts and um, ice cream. Check out the, um, the playlist, you know. It's a lot on there. Just check it out. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.